Hello, my name is Trisha Dowling, and I am the co-editor of the Social Responsibility Interest Section newsletter. I'm a lecturer at the English Language Institute at the University of Michigan. I hope you're doing well and enjoying the conference wherever you are. I'm here today to share a bit about our interest section newsletter and highlight a few things that it has included in the past year. Then my co-editor John will talk about how we envision the newsletter moving forward. I would like to highlight a few articles that exemplify the diversity in types of submissions to the newsletter. The August 2020 newsletter theme was critical stories as social justice. Articles include accounts from teaching experiences, reports from the field, resources and recommendations for integrating civic engagement and a call to action to help reduce health disparities. As we considered a theme for the pre-conference newsletter, we wanted to be inclusive of the social justice and social responsibility issues related to COVID-19 and the Black Lives Matter movement that continue to gain momentum throughout the year. We settled on the topic reflections and lessons on disruption. Here in the March 2021 issue, we had submissions about disrupting heteronormativity in ELT, firsthand experience of student visa issues in the US, a lesson plan to guide educators in teaching about indigenous peoples and environmental conflicts, and a poem reflecting on the year 2020. We hope that you will take the time to enjoy these submissions and consider submitting something from yourself in the future. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is John Turnbull. I'm co-editor with Tricia of the SRIS newsletter, and I'm a PhD student in culture, literacy, and language at the University of Texas at San Antonio. Uh, my purpose in speaking to you is first to thank the SRIS leadership for this opportunity to uh, come to you by video. Uh, the second is about the plans that we have talked with the SRIS leadership about uh, concerning the plans for the 2021-22 issues of the newsletter. And we agree that we want to emphasize um, and bring to voice the four domains of the social responsibility interest section. And as a reminder, those four domains are one, English learner advocacy, two, the intersection between identity and language teaching, three, professional learning or professional development, including curricular and social justice resources, and for global issues in education, including peace, the environment, and economic justice. So look for us to be reaching out to you in the various domains for your ideas uh, in order to keep the lines of communication open and to keep social justice issues at the forefront of what we do in the TESOL Association. Thank you.